but also especially in our capital city at the moment. We know now there are a million people on zero-hour contracts after seven years of a Tory government. There are now one in ten workers in insecure employment. And the result is low wages. And the result is one million and a quarter food parcels handed out last year through our food banks. Four million of our children live in poverty. Two thirds of them are in families where people are at work. And yet we're the sixth richest country in the world. What do you call that? I call that a bloody disgrace, do you? We should not tolerate the fact, as the RCM reported yesterday, that our, our nurses earn so little that they themselves have to depend on food banks to survive. This is a government after seven years where we're the only developed country where growth is returning but wages are stagnating. That's why we need a new charter of workers' rights in this country and that's what we launched this weekend. Let me tell you what we will do in June, when June becomes the end of May. Yeah. We will end all zero hours contracts. We will end all zero hours contracts. We will introduce a minimum wage of £10 an hour, a real living wage. Yeah. And there will be trade union rights from day one of employment. And I'll tell you what was shocking in recent weeks was the report from the Equalities Commission where we discover 54,000 women lose their jobs simply because they become pregnant. We will protect women, we will introduce new rights, we will support them, there will be no discrimination against women or when they become pregnant, or in pain when Labour gets back to power. Woo! And you know, I can remember during a May Day speech here in the 90s, when we were angry because bosses at that point in time, company directors and others, were earning 50 times the average wage of their companies. Now, it's 182 times the average wage in those companies. Sure. So we're saying to every company, if you want a public contract, if you want a contract with your government or your council, we insist upon a pay ratio of 20 to 1. We're going to tackle the inequality of pay at work. Yes. And let me give you this commitment as well. We know when Tories are in power, how they undermine trade union rights. And you know we're not asking for the earth. We simply want governments to abide by the International Labour Organization Convention. We want the same rights as trade unions across Europe and elsewhere. So the first step in that direction is that within the first 100 days of a Labour government, we will scrap the Trade Union Act. We will get rid of it. That is part of our programme of workers' rights when we return to power in June. But we will only return to power in June if now we recognise all of us individually our responsibilities. Our responsibility now in these coming weeks is to mobilise all the support we possibly can. And you know, one of the first steps is ensuring our young people, the two and a half million have not registered, no. to register to vote no. because we need their support. No. No. And we need their support because for them, we will ensure free education, we'll scrap tuition fees, we'll restore their housing benefits, we'll make sure they share a real living wage. So we need your support in these coming weeks. This is our opportunity, brothers and sisters. Some of us have worked for this for all our lives. So the message is this, yes, carpe diem. Seize the moment. This is our chance. Take it, brothers and sisters. Solidarity.